Hey there, and welcome to another YouTube channel review. Uh, this time we are going to be doing another gaming channel review. And I will be doing a vlog one probably later on this week. So with this gaming channel review, we're going to be looking at Kazadome. Uh, well, that, at least that's the name of the channel anyways. So look, for anyone who's into gaming, um, check out this guy and what it is that he's actually putting out. Um, he's actually doing pretty good, but we are going to go through and have a look at exactly what's going on, right? We're going to be looking at what's going on behind the scenes because here's the thing. Um, I've had a quick pre uh, preview. When I say a quick preview, I mean, literally, guys, I look at this channel for like five or ten minutes um, before I shoot these videos. So I, I am discovering things just as you are. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm going through the videos. I'm looking at everything and I'm figuring them out as I'm going along and so that we're all kind of going through this journey together if you will so his thing he's not putting together little crappy one two three minute videos that provide absolutely nothing right he's putting together look this is one hour and seven minutes 51 minutes 46 minutes um 39 minutes so he's putting together content and he's putting out quite a bit his channel has been up for a year um and he's got only 61 subscribers now for me, at a very quick glance, you know, without even going into anything, I can tell straight away that there's obviously an issue because um, I've calculated he's actually got uh, just over 70 videos. So he's got more videos than he does subscribers and you, no one should ever be in that situation, right? So especially when you're putting out videos that actually have some sort of worth and value to them. So let's start with the homepage and the channel trailer. If you look here, he does actually have a channel trailer or a channel trailer video anyways, which is a step above a lot of people. Most people don't have anything at all. So that's a good start. But here's the thing, it doesn't exactly have um, an, an actual trailer per se, right? It's kind of just a video that he's, he's put together again of gaming. So the gentleman's name is Spyro. Okay, so Spyro, when you're watching this video, man, go ahead and put your channel link and Facebook link below this video so that people know how to connect with you, man, because I'm pretty sure um, you're going to do well in the future and you really, you really just, there's just a few things, probably more the, the SEO side of things, the search engine optimized uh, side of things that marketers like myself um, look at more so than the amount of content, right? You're putting out content regularly. You know, it looks like once a week, basically, you're putting out a video that's like 30 plus minutes man, you should be doing a lot better than 61 subscribers. So the very first thing is you want to create a channel um, trailer, right? So you want to put together, there, there's a great video out there by Brian G. Johnson, right? Because I haven't put together my video yet, otherwise I'd recommend that, uh, where he talks about channel trailers and how to actually create them. But in essence, what you want to do is you want to create a trailer that gives people an insight of you and who, who you are, what your channel is about, and why people should subscribe, right? So Go ahead and get onto that because and, and put that here, but at least you've got something for now. That's a start. So again, diving into the videos, you have got more than 70 videos and 61 subscribers. So what's going on with the videos? Now, here's the thing, man. At, 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 the, at a very initial glance, right? So people are attracted to specific thumbnails. And I don't mean specific as in like, you know, there's a certain design that you have to do. No. But you do need to get consistent with what it is that you're putting out so that people see it immediately when, when they go through their feed, right, the YouTube feed, and they, they know straight away that it's yours and that they already resonate with who you are and what it is that you put out. And you want people to kind of connect with that, if you will, right? So here's the thing. You want to create thumbnails that actually that actually convey to people exactly what it is that you're, actually, that you're putting out, right? So for example, I mean, this is a kick-ass picture. But it says, uh, don't escape, don't escape to the outbreak. So I'm assuming that's that's a game. Uh, sorry, like, uh, obviously it's a game, sorry, because you're a channel. But what I mean is assuming like, don't escape to is a game. And, you know, the outbreak, maybe that's the, the, the kicker or, or the certain stage that you're playing. So here's what I would recommend, man. Have this picture, that's fine, as the background. But then you have to have don't escape to as the actual text. And then you want to put at least a very, very small picture of yourself, right? Like this little one here, maybe even a little bit bigger on top of this as well. So that people, they, they see the backdrop image, right? It's kick ass and it grabs attention. And then they've got text overlay on top of that, right? Which tells them exactly what it is because people look at thumbnails, not, not titles, right? That's a mistake that I used to make too. I used to think, well, thumbnails don't mean anything. Um, it was really all about the titles. Yes, in one, in one aspect, but in terms of grabbing people's attention. Because remember, when you're creating thumbnails, you're fighting for people's clicks, right? So you want to create as aesthetically pleasing um, uh, thumbnail as you can possibly do because that's what people 
initially glance, you know, you talk about how people people pass judgment on what they see in three seconds, right? On in YouTube, it's probably one, and it comes down to your thumbnail. If the thumbnail grabs their attention, then they'll read the title, right? So if those two things align, then they'll go for it. So have like Don't Escape 2, for example, The Outbreak, and then a small little picture of yourself in the left or the right or whatever the case may be, whatever, whatever works for you, okay? And what I use is I actually use Canva. Canva is free. You can upgrade to the VIP if you choose. Um, I've got VIP because I'm a dork like that, but you can use the free to create good thumbnails, okay? You don't really need VIP, I'll be honest. Um, I, I wish people, there was a way that I could advise people that yes, they did need VIP because then I could sell it, um, but you don't. You can use Canva. It's a very good product. It's very easy to use, um, and, and the free... Uh, the, the free version provides a lot of value, right? Um, and I don't see a huge difference between free and VIP to really recommend it yet to people. In due time, I'm sure they'll create more products and, uh, or more upgrades, if you will, um, so that people are more enticed to upgrade to VIP. So let's go into one of these videos and have a look at what's going on behind the scenes. Um, let, why don't we just stick to uh, Don't Escape Sing as we've already spoken about that video so far, all right, man? So look, while we're here, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up give you a little bit of juice towards your video um so just at a quick glance so i don't think people can really hear what's going on here so i'm just going to kind of carry on um uh, look at, at, at um at an initial glance i mean first thing is is that the the, the graphics are obviously pretty terrible but maybe that's just the style of game and, and obviously look 20 21 people have come to check it out so maybe that's just the way it should be all right and that's cool there's nothing wrong with that this is this is what i look at this is what i focus on more than anything else so two likes out of 20 if you think about it that's pretty damn good that's like a 10 percent thumbs up rate that's pretty good so in other words um it's like when i was chatting with you i need to, i was saying we really need to kind of get you out more now i've listened to i think two of your videos um you're very charismatic um you, you you're very captivating on screen okay so i don't think that's the issue i think the issue is more just getting everything else right you know in terms of the the back engine of things which is a typical thing for creators because they don't look at details they're more about you know cranking stuff out so if I was a person who was interested in Don't Escape 2, I'd, I'd be one, I'd be obviously typing in Don't Escape 2. So I'm just going to check out your search rankings here. So Don't Escape 2, it's great. You're, you're, already sitting, you're already sitting fifth, right? So just to have a quick look here, it's a, it's a fair overall, it's, it's a fair word, it's a fair keyword, right? So you've done really well to rank top five for this particular term. There's quite, there is a fair bit of search here, as you can see. Um, there's, there's 39 searches. And the, the competition is relatively high. So, I mean, these, these are terms, when I see fair, so like anything like 40 and below, I don't even bother going after it myself. And I know this stuff back to front. Um, so for, for a non-marketer, you know, guy who, who doesn't really know exactly what he's doing, to, to rank fifth for that, you're doing pretty damn good, man. So um, I would say the only reason why there aren't so many views on this particular video, if, if you're already ranking fifth, which you should be getting some, it's always better to rank top top five. What I mean by that is one, two, three, or four, because at an initial glance glance of the search, it means you, you're above the fold, right? Which means which means you're coming up on on the on the top of the search engine. So I'm just going to type in "Don't Escape 2. and again here here it comes up, right? Just pretty fair, and you're you're just here. Look, you're like this is what I mean by above the fold. See the fold here? Only the top four videos show. And it's always better to rank top three because in the top three, uh, you, you, they, if they put an ad here, which someone very may well do to, uh, might actually do to, to uh, try and get people to buy the product, then you want to make sure that you're above this fold. You wanna make sure you're in the top three because if a video ad goes here, then only the top three results show, right? So if you look at the top three, right? So this this image is absolutely kick ass, right? And he's, I mean, if you look at this shit, he's got 3.5 million views from this. So you should be able to get more, a lot, hell of a lot more than just 20 views. Look, 323,000 views, 97,000 reviews, 66,000 views. That's Those are insane numbers, okay? Because I don't come from the gaming world. We sure as hell don't get these kinds of numbers. So the very first thing I want, I want you to look at is like, don't escape to, this is a very simple thing, but you don't have that apostrophe, right? Which is basically telling YouTube that if people type in, apostrophe don't escape too that that's not what your game is about and look it you rank even better in this term you sit third this is exactly where we, where we want you to be right but you're basically telling 
YouTube that that's not what your video is about. If people type in Don't Escape 2, you don't come up. And look at it, man. You're, there's 28.7 million results in this video, and you're sitting one, two, three, right? You're, you're sitting third here. You were sitting, what, fifth just a second ago. See that little thumbs up that I gave you? That took you from fifth down here up to here, okay? Which is telling you how important engagement is. And I'm building an engagement group for anybody who wants to be part of it, who is serious about putting out content, like Spiros is here, okay? Get in touch with me and, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can work out together, okay? So that little thumbs up took you from fifth to third in this in this particular search result, right? And again, now, you, now you're with this here, okay? You're still sitting third, all right? So look, we're gonna go back in and let this video play out, okay? Because giving you a full view is gonna help your video climb a little further. All right, and then I'll share this video as well afterwards when, when I'm actually done with that, and that'll give you a little more juice as well. So here's something, man, uh, just to take this another step further. Hang on, sorry, we're not finished with the tags yet. Um, so you want to create more relative key, uh, keywords, okay? Because at the moment, you're only ranking for one, okay? And none, none of these other keywords actually show. So let's type in don't escape too, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm actually talking about. And you can go ahead and update your, your video's uh, metadata once this is actually done, okay? So see, you're back down to fifth again, all right? So that's how quickly this, these things can move. Getting, getting a few things right will get you in the top three. So, and as you can see here, the overall rating of this keyword is poor because the competition is so stupid high, and yet here you are sitting um, in the top five. Where have you gone? Here you go. Okay, so you're back down here. Okay, so let's, you want to, first and foremost, you want to put Don't Escape 2 in your tags, right? So you've got Don't Escape 2 there, but you want to also put the apostrophe as well, and you want to make it your first two tags, not, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, your, your, your main keyword is sitting ninth, okay? Then you want to put it here as well. So don't, with an apostrophe, escape two, uh, don't, uh, and then put semicolon, don't, uh, don't escape to the outbreak, okay? I know that sounds redundant, but here's, here's basically what you wanna do. Something like this. Okay, so you've just squeezed in two keywords, right? Or three keywords, actually. Uh, one, two, three, keywords in one title. Right, that'll help you boost you a little bit further. And then you wanna add the, the don't escape to, to the keywords here. You wanna put the outbreak in here as well. well. You've actually already got that, my apologies. And then you wanna put the full thing in there as well, okay? So, and then these here, these, these are all words, that you, these are all key terms that you can go after because once you create one video, right, you can create another video again and again and again of the same series. Don't escape to the outbreak, don't escape to key, don't escape to guide, don't escape to walkthrough. These are all videos that you can create and you can put into playlists, which we will talk about shortly as well, all right? So just, here's another thing, man, you've, you've got no um, engagement, which, which is a big part. So you wanna encourage people to comment, you know, while you're doing your video, for example, you might say, hey, look, um, guys, do you have any questions about this particular stage or, you know, uh, what's your favorite part of Don't Escape to the Outbreak, right? And get people to comment below. Um, I'll comment just to give you a little bit of a boost. Um, so this comment alone will, will help boost your video a little bit more. Engagement is huge and people don't actually realize that. So what you want to do is you want to be the first person to comment on your own video and you want to comment on it immediately, right? And then you want to give it a thumbs up and a heart. That's all added in as engagement. It's all added into the YouTube ranking factors, okay? So they have over 80 million signals that they actually look at um, to, to determine where a video is actually going to sit. So again, you're doing great to be sitting in the top five or top three, it seems to be moving around. But again, these are all terms that you can go after, okay? And if you don't know what this is, this is called TubeBuddy, which is something that absolutely anyone who is serious about um, their YouTube channels should absolutely have, okay? It's only a $19 a month tool. It's gonna to give you access to all of this information, all of these suggestions that you can actually go after to really help up your game, okay? This is really gonna improve. This has been a game changer for me using using TubeBuddy. Um, and there's another tool that I'm, that I'm gonna be checking out for the next couple of weeks that I also think is the next level, right? TubeBuddy came out, I think, about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I've been using it passively, very passively for a year and very aggressively for a month, and it, the difference is night and day. So I would suggest anyone who's serious about doing YouTube, their YouTube channel to make sure they get TubeBuddy, all right? And I've got a full product review in the, in the um, description section below. Make sure you go ahead and check that out to tell you exactly what it is 
and, how, and I can give you training on how to really maximize your results from it. So the other thing you wanna do, man, uh, Spiros, is you want to reduce the amount of links you've got here, you right? YouTube wants everyone to stay on YouTube. So they promote people who have videos uh, that are more, that are gonna help people stay on YouTube. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you can't link out at all. Obviously, you need to link out in, in order to get some sort of uh, recognition, right? In order for people to connect with you. But really, you wanna keep people on YouTube as long as possible and as much as possible. And if people come here and click on this and go to Twitter, right? You're actually gonna get uh, devalued from, from uh, YouTube because you're taking people away from the website. Okay, people, and, and again, YouTube wants you to wants as many people as possibly can here. So what I would what I would suggest more is like write write a uh, description, which we'll talk about shortly. But you really kind of want to link link to just one thing, and that one thing should really for people to be subscribing. So you wanna you want an actual subscription link here, um, and you want people if you want to check it out, check out my description for this video, and it'll show you how to actually put together a uh, a YouTube. A channel subscription link okay you'll see that there's a slight difference send people directly to your channel yes but it also offers them an option to uh, to subscribe immediately okay that that alone will boost your subscription rate okay and then you want to reduce the amount of links that link outs that you've got like you don't really want people to go to Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr and be checking you out. You know, you don't want people going to SoundCloud. You want people staying on your YouTube channel. So you need to encourage them to subscribe and to check out your channel and everything that you have to offer. Okay, so that's just the thing there. Another thing is your description, all right? So I, I honestly, I have heard videos being able to do well between one to 200 in terms of their rankings. But what you really want to do is you want to create, you want to write a description that tells uh, YouTube exactly what this video is about and you want to throw in all of those words that I mentioned before right like uh, don't escape to guide don't escape to walkthrough don't escape to the outbreak don't escape to you want to talk about those in the little write-up that you have and it can be small like I said between 100 and 200 I would honestly recommend 300 plus right I typically aim for six um, but that's because I'm in a very competitive niche right so I need to get my game up so I, I honestly think for around, around 300 words will, will be enough for you to to boost this video even further. Now you can actually go back and, and and change all of these things if you want to. I'm going back and updating old videos as I learn things, right? So I update tags, I update descriptions, I update links as I learn more and more as time goes on, right? Because I want my videos to continue to rank, not just rank for now. And so basically, uh, th that's basically a wrap for, for this particular side of things. One thing that I did forget to go through is, is to check out what your actual, actual playlists are to see what you've actually got going on here. Okay, so this is really, really good, right? Um, you've actually already got, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, playlists. So continue to create playlists. And you want to create a playlist for every single video that you make through, which is really good. You've got three videos in Forgotten Hill, uh, six videos in Final Station, Walking Dead. That's perfect, man. You wanna create four plus videos per, play state, uh, per playlist, okay? And there is nothing wrong with you having, for example, like horror games, uh, horror games playlists, you know what I mean? Um, or or action games playlists. So, and there's nothing wrong with putting a video in multiple playlists. Like I've had videos that I put into like six playlists, for example, because in that one video I talk about um, video marketing, uh, YouTube marketing, uh, Facebook marketing, email marketing, and whatever else I might cover, blogging, right? And if so, if there is something that's relevant to that particular playlist in that particular video that I do, you wanna make sure you put them in every single one of those playlists. And you want to be creating playlists regularly. It's good, you've now got um, playlists and it looks like you, you've done your homework and you've gone and updated all your playlists recently, which is great. And you wanna to continue to do that, eh? I, I would say, honestly, if, if you're creating, uh, but if, if I remember correctly, when we first checked out this channel, it was like one video per week. So one new playlist per month is what you should be aiming for. Um, people that are as regular as myself and, and are basically putting out, you know, four to seven videos every single week, I'll, I'll be upping that to five to 10 soon. Um, you wanna be creating playlists. Basically, you wanna be creating one playlist per four to five videos, right? And you need to find a way to be creative to create more of these playlists because YouTube, i.e. Uh, Google, likes fresh new content. And eventually you'll find, if you put together the right videos, Right for the so for example, if you have one one playlist that's don't escape to, and you put the don't escape to walkthrough, 
uh, the Don't Escape Guide, you know, the uh, Don't Escape the Outbreak. If you put together like 10 videos of that one particular topic, that your playlist is going to be seen as kind of like a, a hub of content that Google and YouTube want to promote. And you're going to start showing up on Google's pages. You're going to start showing up when, when people search for YouTube. And then that's how you bump your subscribers. Okay. So good job on the, on the playlists um, and, and the, uh, the channels and, and so on. Um, you don't necessarily want this showing, you know what I mean? Keep, keep that private for yourself because honestly, like you want, you want to be promoting your channel as much as possible, not necessarily anyone else's. Now there is nothing wrong, uh, with promoting other people's channels. That's fine. But remember you're fighting for that subscription first and foremost, right? You want people to subscribe to you. So this just caught my attention by the way. So your, your channel header, it's great. It's cool that you've got yourself out there. Obviously this is actually a really good graphic. I like it, but I like it as a foundation, right? No one knows who you are or what you're about. So honestly, when they come to your channel and they see this, they don't really care. Okay, again, same thing with this. They, they wanna come, they wanna see like a one to two to three minute maximum channel trailer that tells them what you're about. The reason why people are coming here is they wanna learn more, but then they come here and it's just a, a typical uh, video. The, the art, you know, it's a very nice picture of you, obviously, and it's great how you've done it. I think it's awesome. But it the, the, the header itself tells them absolutely nothing of who you are and what you're about, okay? Um, so go ahead and update that. And again, right here, you're linking out. If you're going to link out, you know, try to try to link out to Google Plus. Although honestly, I don't know how long Google Plus is going to last now that uh, YouTube is, is taking a turn and trying to create uh, an actual community, you know, across a cross line between videos and something like Facebook and Instagram. Okay, they're trying to do it. So in other words, I think Google Plus is, is on the borderline of dying. And what I'm saying basically is you don't need this here, okay? You don't need to link out, especially with only 61 subscribers. You want to build your authority first, right? You, you'll see those big time gamers, you know, like um, uh, PewDiePie. They can link out now and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with them doing that. But they're huge authorities in this particular market. They can do whatever the hell they want and get away with it, okay? You need to build your channel first. You need to show your loyalty to YouTube so that they can promote your videos more and more. Okay, so look, we covered quite a bit in this channel review. Uh, for anyone who's a gamer out there, you can watch this video. Uh, you can watch this, this gaming channel review and obviously you can, you can distinguish for yourself that there is a lot of information here that you can apply to your channel. Um, and if you want a specific review on your channel, go ahead and comment below. Uh, but if you like this review, I'm gonna continue to pump out channel reviews. I'm probably gonna be doing two a week for the whole of 2018. I might do them moving forward, I'm not sure, but at this point, my, my goal is to really pump out a lot of channel reviews to provide a lot of value so people can really see what it is I'm looking at when I'm evaluating people's channels and I'm trying to help them build their subscription list and get more views, all right? So thank you so much for stopping by and taking out this video. Take care, much love, and I'll see you in the next YouTube channel review.